is James Podesta and I am the Head of Planning and Environment at STRI. I'm just going to use this short video to give you my thoughts on how I think you can still keep your planning applications and your development plans progressing even in these uh, difficult times. The first thought that uh, I would raise is around constraints mapping and understanding the parameters of your site. You may or may not be lucky enough to have had survey work undertaken before the lockdown, but it's about gathering all the available information that you do have to best understand your site. What you're trying to do is get down to that net developable area. That's going to give you uh, the basis on which to take your applications forward. Second point I'd make is in relation to engagement with statutory consultees. Seek their views. It's very important you get to, get to know what they want from your uh, proposal and then you can shape it accordingly. Third, and again equally important point, is about public engagement. Getting a strategy together about how you're going to approach uh, different groups in, in the community so that you uh, can, can get on with that engagement piece as soon as possible. Now you might be able to do some of that now through slightly more innovative ways, social media, uh, uh, digital uh, uh, platforms, or you might want to think about how best you can do a more traditional campaign when you can get back to uh, town hall meetings and community hall meetings, etc. The fourth point brings together all of those elements uh, and it's in the pre-app uh, form, making sure that we still continue to submit pre-applications. Local authorities are still engaging, they're finding uh, various different ways of, of doing that. Sometimes you can do it through video conferencing, uh, but it's important that you do seek their views. That's going to be the quickest way that you can progress your applications through the process. The fifth point, uh, final point, is a bit different but if you've got a major project uh, or a large scale project you might want to think about pulling it together as a digital model. The reason I say that is because it offers certain advantages uh, in terms of being able to auctioneer, have a look at different things without fully committing stuff. It's a really good way of being able to, to have a look at your, your uh, development proposals from lots of different angles uh, and find the one that's best to, to take forward. I hope this has been useful for you and if it has, um, please visit our website which is www.strigroup.com. Thanks.